All right, guys, we're back. We've got two devices sitting in front of us. We've got the original Rapsodo MLM-1 and the brand new Rapsodo MLM-2 Pro. And what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna run through and do a deep dive of the feature comparisons between the two. Because I'm sure that there's a lot of you out there watching who are now on the fence between which of these two do you purchase. And I truly believe that there's going to be a fit for everyone between these two. I agree. However, mm -hmm. I think a huge part of it's gonna skew towards the MLM two. But stay tuned, it does not completely rule out the MLM one because this we're now seeing is an incredible value, especially for a specific set of golfers. And we'll dive into exactly why we believe that's true in just a second. But there's one thing that we have to say, which is super important. It's that the MLM one, we had the same question a lot of you had, and we saw this in our last video in the comments. We're gonna try to address as many of those questions as we can in this video and in future videos. So if you have extra uh, questions, drop them in the comments. But a lot of you thought the same thing we did and thought, well, is the MLM two pro a replacement of the MLM one? Meaning, is this going to be discontinued? And right. there's mm -hmm. no doubt that some of you, and rightfully so, were a little bit worried that, hey, I'm gonna go out and buy the MLM one only to find out that it's not supported, there's no longer getting updates, things like that. So what we did is we reached out to Rapsodo and put that question directly to them. We said, before we make a video on this, I wanna hear from the horse's mouth, is this getting discontinued? And they said, absolutely not. It's not one of those instances where it's just when they run out of stock, it's gone. Right. They said that they are committed to continuing to make the original MLM, they're gonna support it and roll out updates for it, which means there could even be additional features in the future. So if you're watching this and you're worried, hey, I'm not gonna buy that because it's just gonna be gone in a matter of months, the good news is we put that to bed, that's not gonna be the case. So you're gonna have the option to continue getting updates and everything on the MLM one. Now with the MLM two, another thing that's very important to say is what we've got in our hands here is an advanced copy. We had done a bunch of Rap Soto videos last year on the MLM one. We'll link to those and we'll, just, we'll talk about those more in a second. But as part of that, we reached out to Rap Soto and they were kind enough to send us a unit ahead of release. So we did an initial video a couple of weeks ago on it. Mm -hmm. We did a touch base on a couple of the features. This is gonna be a much more deep dive. We're gonna deep dive into the features. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna show you some of them, especially the new cameras. So we've got a lot to show you. However, I will say one thing. It is still a pre-production copy. So we're working off of pre-production firmware mm -hmm. in the actual device itself and software. So while we can talk about a lot of the features that are coming because we've seen them and it's all publicly available now on Rapsoda's website, we can't test them all because not all of them are functioning in the app that we have at the moment. Which brings us to the number one comment from the last video. Yeah. The R10, Garmin R10. Right, so the, a lot of you asked us to do a direct comparison with the Garmin R10. Good news is we have one right here. In fact, a lot of you asked because about a year ago, we did a direct comparison between the MLM1 accuracy and the Garmin R10 at the time. Even the Garmin R10 has changed since then. Right, it has. There's been multiple mm -hmm. updates. So what we're going to do is we're gonna be updating our Garmin R10 to the latest software so that it's a fair fight. And we're gonna be putting it up against the MLM2 Pro. But you're going to have to subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss that video because speaking of a fair fight, as I said, a lot of the functionality of the MLM2 is in beta. It's not working just yet. So we wanna be able to run through all the features and do a direct comparison. So just stay tuned, it's coming, and we'll bring it to you the second we can get it to you. Right. So that comparison is coming, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're gonna work with what we can work with here and show you what we can in this beta version. So let's first dive in and do a feature rundown of the MLM1 and the MLM2 and tell you what some of the differences are in what you can expect out of each device. Now, first and foremost, keep in mind, there are premium subscriptions right. that come for both of these. And we'll talk about all those prices in just a second, but the premium is gonna unlock additional features. But let's first take a look and run through those data points of what you get with each of these devices. So first and foremost, both will give you carry distance both will give you total distance, 
club speed, ball speed, smash factor, launch angle, launch direction, side carry, apex, and shot type. <laughs> It's a lot. So, um, a lot. and it's a lot. And that's why I'm already thinking like, don't rule out the MLM one for some of you who are super, super budget conscious. Cause when we tell you the price on that later, you're not going to believe it where this price has gone since the introduction of the MLM two pro beyond that with the MLM two pro, you're also going to get descent angle, spin rate and spin axis. Now we talked about this briefly on our last video, but let's really touch on it a little bit more now. In order to get those data points, you have to use the um, RPT, uh, the Rapsodo Precision Technology, Technology Ball that comes with the device. Right. Luckily, when you order it, you do get a sleeve of these balls. Without this ball, you do not get spin numbers. But the good news about this ball is that it unlocks a number of features that were previously only available outdoors for the MLM-1 and now brings them indoor. And when I say indoor, I mean either physically indoors or in a backyard or other environment hitting into a net. You're talking combines? I'm talking combines. That's cool. So now you, we did a whole video on the combine, which was incredibly fun to do. Right, We've but actually, you can only do it outdoors, which I was bothered by. Exactly. Yeah. So you had to go to a range, you had to be somewhere outdoors to do a combine. Now with the use of this ball, you can do the full combine indoors. Sweet. All right. Yeah. You're also going to get all of that simulation that we talked about and we're going to show you more of. In fact, like I said, not only will we be doing the comparison with the R10, we'll also be doing a full simulation breakdown, but there's a few things that we can tell you. First is that there's going to be a built-in simulator. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be a Rapsodo built-in, uh, no use of third-party apps. It's right in the device. It's going to have something like 33,000 courses. Um, that again, that number I'm sure will change and grow as we get closer to actual release date. Um, but there's also going to be integration with other platforms, third parties. Uh, awesome Golf is a big one. The other one is E6. E6. Mm -hmm. So all those, those will require, depending on the platform, some other subscriptions and things like that. If you're someone who wants to have an outdoor launch monitor, but you can also use it as a double to build yourself an indoor simulator, like simulator with true simulation, you can look to the MLM2 This product. is all you need for the brands. That's all you, all need. you need. So that will hook up directly to an iPad, uh, Android, whatever it may be, and then you'll be able to use that with Projected. those third party apps. Mm -hmm. Now, that reminds me of one other very important distinction between these two devices. If you are a pure Android user, unfortunately, it takes the MLM1 off the table for you as it stands. Like I said, I just don't know if in a future update they would add that. I doubt it at this point because it's been out for so long without right. being mm -hmm. Android, but the, you're gonna look at the MLM too. Speaking of which, the device and how important the device is to the function of the uh, of the actual launch monitor itself. The original MLM one had two ways of picking up ball flight. It used Doppler radar, mm -hmm. which is this part down here. And it also was a dual do uh, radar and optic system. When I say optic, it means it's using some sort of camera. So it was using the camera on your I, on your iPhone right. as a additional way of reading the launch characteristics. So between the two, that's how it was getting that. What it required was that you had to have your phone docked on the device in order for it to work. It would not work like this. You couldn't take the phone off and use simply radar. You had to have both on there. It was still using the phone's camera and recording your swings. We're gonna talk about what that'll do and how many you can store, because mm -hmm. it's an astronomical number in a second. We're gonna talk about that in the premium features. But I important wanna point out, if you're deciding between the two, keep in mind, your phone or your iPad had to stay docked on top of this for it to work. That is no longer the case with the MLM2 Pro. So we've done some testing with this, uh, with multiple devices, uh, iPhone, right iPad, iPad sure. uh, Android, Android phones, mm -hmm. Android, you know, uh, tablets. tablets, all of them work with this. And what's so key and so important is that all of the reading, both radar and uh, optical is done inside of the Rapsodo device itself. There is no longer a need to dock this in any type of way. There's a couple of ports, like I would call them like notches or cutouts here, where if you wanted to, you could set your phone down. 
I don't think that's going to be the use case for most people. I don't think so. I think most right. people are going to have the phone either in hand, in pocket, mm -hmm. or an iPad in front of them, and this device behind them. We talked about this briefly in our last video, but just to go over it again, the way this is reading is that you've got radar here, and then you've got two cameras. You've got your uh, impact view camera, Right. Which is recording an incredible... That's picking up the spin. It is. It's incre It's a 240 frame per second camera that is zoomed in on the ball location. That works hand in hand with these RPT balls. Mm -hmm. And because of the high frame rate and because it's zoomed in, it'll actually pick up that launch and it'll use an algorithm to calculate spin from there. So that's what the impact view. Then you have your uh, more of a down the line view, which we were used to with the original MLM, right. which was using your phone to film that. Now the second camera that's built into the MLM2 Pro is what's going to be recording your down the line swing. So de this device itself is going to be recording the ball impact and the down the line swing. But there's one other feature that this has that this does not have, mm -hmm. and that's the ability to add a third camera. So because your device, it could be your iPad or your iPhone, is linked up via Bluetooth to this while you're using it, it can then activate the camera on your phone and be recording that with every shot as well. So you could put a face on with this down the line. Exactly, you have options here. So if you want to have, and especially if you're working with a coach, or I see a lot of coaches using this, if you want to have a second down the line, mm -hmm. higher up, you can position it there. If you want to have a face on view, you can position it there. But what's so cool is now think about this. If you're using this in a practice mode on the range or even indoors into a net, with every swing you take, you're going to get all the launch uh, metrics that we talked about a mm -hmm. second ago. You're going to get an impact view tight in on your club as it makes contact with the ball and a potential face on or other view from here. So you've got your, your effectively your swing at three different, three different cameras. camera angles is what you're getting from this. So now with that said, let's just talk really quickly about the premium because I know I'm, what I'm mentioning here are a number of features that are gonna be part of the premium subscription. Two things with the premium. With the MLM one, you pay $99.99 per year for the premium. So after you purchase the device, if you want the premium features we're talking about here, you have to sign up for that subscription. For the MLM2 Pro, it comes free for all people who purchase mm -hmm. it in the first year. So you will out of the box, you do not have to make a decision of whether you want it or not, you're going to get all the premium features. After that, however, you will have to pay each year to have those premium features. And that is $199, $199.99. But what you get with it is pretty yeah. robust. <laughs> and what I mean by that is we talked before about recording your swing mm -hmm. with each shot. Both of these under the premium subscription will have cloud data storage of up to 10,000 swings. Yeah, that'll do. If mm. you need more than 10,000 mm. <laughs> shots <laughs> recorded of your swing, then there's yeah. something else totally going on there. Right, of course. But when I say that, I mean Jeez. both of these devices will record all of the launch characteristics, mm -hmm. plus whatever cameras you have set up. So if you've got the third camera on here or just the built-in cameras for every single shot. And I think where let's, it, this is a perfect moment to talk about price. Starting with the MLM one, which we saw, I think it, when it originally launched a couple years ago, it was somewhere around $500, mm -hmm. but now it is steeply discounted. And I think that's why a lot of you asked the question of whether it was gonna be discontinued because the price is pretty incredible. The price comes in at $299.99. So, Remember, if you're looking for a launch monitor that's the price of some range finders, this is something that's going to be attractive to a lot of people out there, especially now knowing that this is going to continue in production and continue to be supported. So $299.99 plus $99.99 per year for premium. Moving over to the MLM2 Pro, $699.99. And we really hit on that hard in our last video because that was one of our key takeaways and one of our most surprising points right. mm -hmm. um, was that this came at a price tag that was sub $700. And one other thing that we asked Rep Soto was a question again that came from you guys. So thank you for keep hitting those questions in the comments. We love it. Um, 
whether there would be a trade-in program mm -hmm. for this. What they did is they, they were not able to commit to a definitive time frame or any type of specifics to price or whatever, but they did say that there would be a trade-in option rolling out at some point this year. So if you're a currently an MLM one owner and you want to upgrade to the MLM two pro, stay tuned. I'm sure there'll be something we will try to update you guys when we hear about it. Otherwise, I'm sure it'll be on the Rapsodo website, but there will be an option to trade this in and get this. Okay, so what we wanna do before we wrap this up is we wanna at least show you that multiple camera. So we're gonna hop over to our uh, hitting bay here and we're gonna hit one and show you what that looks like. Are you ready to do it? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up, in here, you're already getting the camera view that is coming directly from the Rapsodo. However, if we click this button here, we can see that we're also seeing the camera from my device here. Um, and so what we're gonna do, and this is a kind of a smart thing that Mike mentioned, was that you can go on Amazon, get one of these like cheap iPhone holders. Uh, it, it collapses down, throw it in your bag, whatever. What I like and the what way we've been using it during our testing has been to just throw the phone on there and set it up as a face on angle. So I'm just gonna set it up over here adjust it to the height I want. I could see doing this on the range very simply. And just to take you through one more time, every swing that we take right now is going to be recorded visually from the two cameras in the MLM2 Pro and the camera on my phone, which I've set up as face on. You don't need to do face on, you can set it wherever you want. If you wanna higher down the line, you can do that. But we're recording all of those. The comparison, the MLM1, would be recording your swing from just the one camera which was built into your iPhone. So this is effectively three views instead of one. That's a big difference maker. We get it all set up. Mike, I'll have you take a couple shots and we'll show people what it looks like. All right, we got the RPT ball. Mike's all set, let's have him hit one. Okay, so as we saw on the phone, instantly it popped up full screen, all of the numbers. If we just hit the replay button, we can instantly, instantly see a replay of Mike's swing from face on. It's right there. That is also stored for, for use and we can see that again later. Let's go back into it. This time, let me switch it. I'm gonna give a down the line view from the Rapsodo. Again, immediately get our, our numbers, our metrics. You can change those metrics if you want. There is a button down here below where we can click it. We can go change metrics and we can select the three metrics that we want to see live at the top of the screen. Remember, like I said earlier, all these metrics are being recorded, so you're not missing out on anything, it's just what you wanna see. Um, and on the iPad, you can select up to six. I'm just gonna leave that session, and then I'm gonna go back into my insights here. I click on it, I can see all the shots I took in that session. Each one is tagged with the club that I was using. You can select the club as you go through, and then we're gonna click one of these, and I've got a couple of options here. First and foremost, I can see the main metrics there. I can also click on the view button. I can see a replay with of the down the line shot. I can also go to impact vision and I can see that impact shot we talked about. So remember, it's, it is recording from two cameras within the device. All of these are stored for every shot. I can look at my mobile device, which was my face on camera. That's right there as well. So again, for the, those of you who are looking for something that gives you a lot more views of your swing, I think the MLM2 Pro is what you're gonna be looking to get. All right, so that's the quick overview of the MLM1 versus the MLM2 Pro. I know a lot of people are gonna be tossed between which one do you get. Hopefully this helped. If you've got more questions, drop them in the comments. And yes, 100%, we are going to be testing the accuracy of the MLM2 Pro against not only the R10, but a lot of other launch monitors out there on the market because I know a lot of you are watching these videos because you're making a buying decision. All of that is coming. It's within a few weeks that this will be live on the marketplace. Once we've got the production fully released firmware and software, we will get those to you. We promise they're coming. Please just hang tight. They'll be here just in a couple of weeks and stay, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next video.